from America's most famous family, Edward Kennedy showed himself determined to the very end. Days after doctors told him he had a brain tumor, he was at the helm in a yacht race. He came second, but vowed to win next year. Optimism, despite a bleak prognosis from the doctors. Those who knew him say it was typical of the veteran politician's grit, a strength forged in family tragedy. Four of his siblings died before they were 50. JFK assassinated as president in 1963. His brother Robert shot dead while running for president in 1968. Edward Kennedy delivered the eulogy. The thing I always remember is the stunning speech that goes down as one of the most remarkable in the history of our country, speaking at the funeral of his brother Bobby. I can remember that day so clearly. Be remembered simply as a good and decent man who saw wrong and tried to right it, saw suffering and tried to heal it, saw war and tried to stop it. He was already a senator when Bobby died. I will vigorously support Medicare. His tenure representing Massachusetts made him the second most senior senator. It wasn't without controversy, though. In 1969, a car he was driving veered off a bridge and into a channel of water. The passenger, Mary Jo Kopechny, died. He didn't report the accident until after her body was discovered and received a two-month suspended jail sentence. My conduct and conversations during the next several hours, to the extent that I can remember them, make no sense to me at all. Many believe the incident and subsequent TV interviews about it cost him the White House when he ran for the Democratic Party's nomination against Jimmy Carter. He focused instead on lawmaking, taking a liberal stance on controversial issues such as health care, gun control and abortion. In 2008, he waded into the presidential race. I feel change in the air. Backing Barack Obama. Although perhaps a sign of his waning influence, Massachusetts voters backed Hillary Clinton instead. Hey, thanks for your service, How are you? Yeah. Good to see you. But Barack Obama appreciated the Kennedy endorsement, and the elder statesman of Democrat politics was there to witness his inauguration. It was at the lunch immediately afterwards that Senator Kennedy suffered a seizure and was rushed to hospital. I know that while I was out of the room, concern was expressed uh, about Teddy. He was there when the Voting Rights Act passed, along with John Lewis, was a warrior for justice. And so uh, I would be lying to you if I, if I did not say that right now a part of me is with him. And I think that's true for all of us. Uh, this is a joyous time. Uh, but it's also a sobering time. He did return to the Senate. I'm looking forward to being a, a foot soldier in this uh, undertaking, and this time we will not fail. Thank you. Visiting politicians were always quick to honor a giant of the American political scene. Northern Ireland today is at peace. More Americans have health care. Children around the world are going to school. And for all those things, we owe a great debt to the life and courage of Senator Edward Kennedy. One of the Senator's last public appearances was arriving at a wake for his sister Eunice Kennedy Shriver. He was known as the Lion of the Senate. The Democratic Party now mourns one of its greatest voices, and America has lost another link with its most famous political clan. Greg Milam, Sky News, Washington.